Welcome to the Gurukul Universal Presentation, which delves into the concept of fortifying cohesive teams by means of an illustrative narrative drawn from the tale of the hare and the tortoise. In a bygone era, a dispute transpired between a tortoise and a hare, revolving around the contentious issue of their respective swiftness. To resolve their contention, they jointly resolved to undertake a race, amicably selecting a predetermined course as their arena, and subsequently embarked upon the competition. The hare swiftly surged ahead, maintaining a brisk pace for an extended duration. However, upon realizing a substantial lead over the tortoise, he elected to seek respite beneath a tree, intending to unwind momentarily before recommencing the race. He positioned himself beneath the shade of the tree and promptly succumbed to slumber. Meanwhile, the tortoise, persistently advancing at a steady, methodical pace, succeeded in overtaking the slumbering hare and subsequently, with unwavering determination, brought the race to its conclusion, unequivocally securing the title of victor. Subsequently, the hare awakened from his slumber, only to come to the disheartening realization that he had been outpaced and consequently had lost the race. The underlying moral lesson encapsulated within this narrative is the age-old adage that, slow and steady triumphs in the competition. It is important to note that this rendition of the story represents the widely familiar and traditionally conveyed version that has been passed down through generations. The story continues. In the wake of his defeat, the hare grappled with a profound sense of disappointment and embarked on a process of introspection. Through this self-examination, he arrived at a critical revelation. His loss in the race was entirely attributable to his excessive confidence, a lack of diligence, and a propensity for complacency. He recognized that had he not underestimated the challenge and maintained a sense of vigilance, there existed no plausible scenario wherein the tortoise could have emerged as the superior contender. Motivated by his newfound insight and determination to rectify his previous shortcomings, the hare subsequently issued a challenge to the tortoise, proposing a rematch. The tortoise, in a spirit of sportsmanship, readily acquiesced to the proposition. In this ensuing race, the hare, fueled by an unwavering commitment to his objective, executed a race strategy characterized by unrelenting and uninterrupted swiftness from the race's commencement to its conclusion. As a result, he secured a resounding victory, achieving a significant lead over the tortoise that spanned several miles. The moral lesson derived from this variant of the story underscores the notion that, swiftness coupled with consistency invariably triumphs over a measured and methodical approach. It posits that within an organizational context, when confronted with two individuals, one characterized by a slower yet dependable work ethic and the other by a swift and equally reliable performance, the latter is poised to ascend the organizational hierarchy at a more accelerated pace. Hence, the narrative conveys the message that while the virtues of steadiness and reliability are commendable, the combination of alacrity and dependability stands as a superior and more advantageous attribute within the context of professional advancement. But the story doesn't end here. Upon the culmination of the second race, the tortoise engaged in a thoughtful reflection, acknowledging that given the prevailing race format, it was inherently unfeasible for him to outpace the hare. After a period of contemplation, the tortoise formulated an alternative strategy and subsequently extended a fresh challenge to the hare, albeit with a modification in the race route. The hare, displaying his sportsmanlike spirit, consented to the proposed alteration and agreed to participate in the forthcoming race. Demonstrating his unwavering commitment to swiftness, the hare initiated the race with a burst of speed, maintaining a rapid pace until he confronted a substantial, formidable obstacle, a broad river. It was at this juncture that he realized that the finishing line was situated a few kilometers away on the opposite bank of the river. Beset by uncertainty and indecision, the hare found himself in a contemplative pause, grappling with the dilemma posed by the river. 
During this interval, the tortoise, undeterred by the aquatic barrier, proceeded at his deliberate pace, entering the river, swimming across to the far bank, and resuming his methodical progression towards the race's conclusion, ultimately crossing the finishing line. The moral distilled from this narrative underscores the importance of recognizing and leveraging one's core competencies. It advises individuals, particularly within the context of an organizational setting, to first identify their innate strengths and abilities. Subsequently, the narrative suggests that one should proactively tailor the environment or seek out opportunities that align with these competencies. For instance, if one excels in public speaking, they should actively pursue chances to deliver presentations and thereby attract the attention of senior management. Alternatively, for those with strong analytical skills, engaging in research and producing informative reports that are subsequently communicated to higher authorities is recommended. By aligning one's efforts with their inherent strengths, this approach not only ensures visibility but also engenders prospects for personal growth and career advancement. The story still hasn't ended. As time passed, a camaraderie had developed between the hare and the tortoise, prompting them to engage in thoughtful discussions. It became evident to both parties that their previous race had been fraught with inefficiencies and could have been executed in a more optimal manner. In a collective decision, the hare and the tortoise resolved to revisit their previous race, but this time, they chose to collaborate as a unified team. Initiating the race anew, the hare and the tortoise began their joint endeavor, with the hare shouldering the tortoise's progress until they reached the riverbank. Upon reaching the riverbank, the roles between the hare and the tortoise were reversed, with the tortoise taking charge and swimming across the river with the hare perched upon his back. Upon reaching the opposite bank, the hare once more shouldered the tortoise, and in unison, they traversed the remaining distance to reach the finishing line. This collaborative victory left them both with a profound and enhanced sense of contentment, surpassing the satisfaction they had experienced previously. The moral elucidated by this narrative underscores the significance of not only possessing individual brilliance and well-defined core competencies but also the imperative of effective collaboration within a team. It underscores that an individual's solitary strengths may not suffice, as various situations necessitate distinct skills. Consequently, optimal performance can only be achieved through collective effort, wherein each team member contributes their core competencies as required by the situation. In essence, teamwork embodies the concept of situational leadership, entrusting the individual possessing the pertinent core competency for a given scenario with the responsibility of leadership. This ensures that the team functions harmoniously and maximizes its potential. Indeed, the tale of the hare and the tortoise imparts several invaluable lessons. Firstly, it emphasizes the importance of perseverance and resilience in the face of failures. The hare's response to his initial loss, involving increased effort, highlights the effectiveness of such an approach. Conversely, the tortoise's recognition of the need to alter his strategy when he had already exerted his utmost effort underscores the wisdom of adaptability. Furthermore, the story underscores the concept of shifting one's focus from rivalry with others to a competition against the circumstances or the situation at hand. This shift in perspective is depicted as a catalyst for improved performance. In essence, it highlights the significance of goal orientation and problem solving over mere rivalry, as it often leads to more fruitful outcomes. The narrative thus encourages individuals to assess their own situations and choose their responses judiciously, whether by working harder, altering their strategies, or adopting a combination of both approaches. Roberto Goizueta's ascension to the position of CEO at Coca-Cola during the 1980s marked a pivotal juncture for the company, characterized by robust competition from Pepsi, which was progressively encroaching upon Coca-Cola's market share. Within this challenging environment, Coca-Cola's executives were singularly fixated on the incremental goal of augmenting the company's market share by 0.1% at a time. 
However, Roberto Goizueta adopted a strategic shift in his approach. Rather than engaging in a head-to-head -head rivalry with Pepsi, he elected to redirect the company's focus towards a broader objective. Addressing the challenge of achieving 0.1% growth By transcending the narrow competition against a specific rival and instead emphasizing performance enhancement in the context of the broader market dynamics, Roberto effectively recalibrated Coca-Cola's strategy. This shift in perspective ultimately played a pivotal role in revitalizing the company's competitive position and charting a successful trajectory amidst the formidable challenges posed by the soft drink industry. Roberto Goizueta's strategic acumen became further evident when he posed a critical question to his executives. What constitutes the average daily fluid intake of an American? The response was that it amounted to approximately 14 ounces, of which Coca-Cola held a mere two-ounce share. Goizueta astutely recognized the necessity for a more substantial presence within the broader beverage market. He reframed the competitive landscape, shifting the focus away from Pepsi as the primary adversary and toward the numerous alternatives such as water, tea, coffee, milk, and fruit juices that accounted for the remaining 12 ounces of daily fluid intake. In accordance with this renewed perspective, Coca-Cola embarked on an ambitious initiative to position itself as the preferred beverage choice for consumers on a more regular and spontaneous basis. This involved the strategic deployment of vending machines at street corners, ensuring that Coca-Cola products were readily accessible and convenient for consumers to reach for whenever they desired a refreshing beverage. This bold move resulted in a significant upswing in sales, and Pepsi found itself unable to fully bridge the gap, solidifying Coca-Cola's reinvigorated market position. In summary, the allegorical account of the hare and the tortoise imparts several fundamental lessons. 1. Resilience. Persevere and do not succumb to despair in the face of failure. 2. Swiftness and consistency. The combination of speed and reliability often prevails over a measured pace. 3. Leverage core competencies. Focus on your strengths and abilities to maximize your potential. 4. Compete against the situation. Shift your focus from rivalry with others to addressing the challenges presented by your circumstances. 5. Teamwork. Collaborative efforts can outperform individual achievements when resources are pooled and diverse competencies are harnessed. These enduring lessons from the story continue to resonate with individuals seeking to navigate the complexities of life, competition, and personal development. After viewing the Gurukul Universal presentation, let us indeed embark on the journey to build stronger and more effective teams. By applying the valuable lessons from the hare and the tortoise story and the insights shared, we can foster collaboration, resilience, and a shared commitment to success within our teams.